people it's Malir and today I'm here with another video and just like the title says today's video is going to be about how you can be paid yes I said paid to become a pharmacy technician okay this is something that I do and I currently I'm a pharmacy technician that is how I became one and I'm here to just show you guys how I did that and actually be paid to become that so stay tuned to the end of the video and I would be sure to give you my tips on this issue yeah so let's just move straight in first off if you just tune in here I want to believe that you've done your research about who a pharmacy technician is and uh, what they do and you share sure interest or whatever you you're looking for yourself or for your friend or a family member it's okay if you haven't done your research let me just show you in a nutshell, a pharmacy technician is a healthcare professional who works under a close supervision of a pharmacist. Did I just confuse you? Okay, let's just make it even shorter. A pharmacy technician works in the pharmacy under the, under the supervision of a pharmacist. Period. That's it. Okay, so there's more to it, like the duties of a pharmacy technician, there's a lot more duties, um, but I would not be able to put them all in this video. I might make a separate video highlighting more on the duties of a pharmacy technician, at least in the um, retail setting, that's where I do work, and I know more about that. Okay, and if you have any questions, just leave it down below and I'll be sure to answer that as well. But let's just move straight in. So how do you become a pharmacy technician? There are like several ways to become a pharmacy technician. Actually, I would say two main ways to become a pharmacy technician. First off, you can either sign up for an online course or um, a vocational or training certification online or at a community college and then pay your tuition to become one you'd have to first of all have your GED or your high school diploma that is banker you have to have that first before you can even take their exam okay and um, the second way that you could become a pharmacy technician which is the way that I went and I think is the best way is because I'll give you reasons why I think it's the best way but the second way is working okay to consider a training program okay a training program with a retail pharmacy like your local CVS Walgreens Walmart or whatever local pharmacy that you have um, most of these companies actually hire people they hire people the keyword to train them to become pharmacy technicians so that means that you're getting your regular paycheck in, you're getting your hourly pay, doing something that you have, you would have to write an exam for. Okay, so basically, like for instance, I work at Walmart as a pharmacy technician. I started off as a cashier. Okay. and I showed some interest in the pharmacy and um, updated my career preference which is a system with Walmart where you actually go in and um, allow the company to know your interest like where you would want to move up into like management whatever you want to do so I went in and I put in pharmacy okay I just wanted to work in the pharmacy don't even know what I was gonna do but yeah so once a position opened the personnel manager contacts me and made me aware that there was a position open and they would like me to go talk to the um, pharmacist the pharmacy manager at the time so I talked to them they liked me and they decided to transfer me from being a cashier um, to the pharmacy which was a really exciting thing I was so excited so yeah um, I started training at the time I think in 2014 I believe yeah you train for six months okay and after six months you are required to take 
a board exam okay this is either a state board exam or a national certification for this pharmacy technician um, so I trained and after six months I took their exam I did take their state board exam I shouldn't have and I think that you shouldn't either you should go ahead and just do the national just study for the national and get that out of the way this is because when you are nationally certified you are allowed to work in the hospital and also you're allowed to work anywhere in the United States you can just get up and just move and you still have a job okay but when you take your state you're stuck to whatever state that you are in if you know for the most part Virginia I know that for sure you know um, yeah so just do the national um, so I, I did I took the state board exam and I passed it glory to God and then I actually now got a raise okay so at first I was being paid my regular cashier you know um, job I mean wage and after I got certified I now was now paid to be a certified I mean given the the, the wage of a certified pharmacy technician and um, if you're not gonna do what I did like transferring from a position in the same store to the pharmacy and you're just going straight off into the pharmacy as as a pharmacy technician trainee they might have a wage for you but it would not be a part to what the other technicians that are certified are making but once you actually um, get the certification you are guaranteed to get a raise which is a good thing okay um, you're not losing anything you're being paid to work to become who you want to be that's awesome okay and I thought that was really cool to the extent that they reimbursed me for the fees that I paid all the fees that I paid to um, to take their exam and each year when you actually renew your certificate this company that you're working with pays you back they give you your money back like what do you have to lose you just gotta go to work and work that's it okay and um, yeah so that was what I did and I just wanted to share that with you guys that it's an option for you um, because I don't see why you should go out and pay so much money even if it's a thousand dollars to be trained to become a pharmacy technician because the wages is not what you really think it is do your research about that before you go dishing in dishing out lots of money for a career that would not be able to pay you back what you put in okay you know so um, that's why I think this is a great way to become this because you might be wanting to actually become a pharmacist right and you want to find yourself in that environment you just want to become a doctor you want to find yourself in that environment where you're dealing with medications and patients and you want to get yourself conversant with these things okay that's why I got in or find yourself being just a regular cashier like I did not want to be a cashier anymore I had done it for one year and I was like I am done like no I want something higher something bigger than this I'm just standing right in one simple spot and just scanning things continuously like no it was just not me and I'm still looking to move up and move forward so that's why I opted for this and it's been very I mean helpful for me it's opened so many doors and it's good on your resume in the future when you want to get something better it's, it's something that you, you can have um, and once you get certified you get certified for life like it's something under your belt okay so yeah just look into it if you're trying to get into like like a pharmacy and it's hard to get in to get in I would say that just apply for any position in the store you know you must well right if you're that desperate just apply to any position in the store once you get your foot in you can now manipulate things like you can just prove to them that you are a hard worker and you don't deserve to be doing what you're doing and you deserve more and you let them know and they will give you more it's just the way human beings work they see that you're working hard and you ask for what you want you get what you want just saying 
So yeah, if you found this video helpful, um, thumbs up, share with your friends, and um, comment and like. Um, just let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions, put it down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer those. Um, yeah, I might make a video showing you guys the duties of pharmacy technician, but apart from that, that's all about it. You know, that's all about it. And oh yeah, I just took my national certification two two days ago, and I actually passed the exam. And I will link down below resources that I used. I used one main resource. It's a website that I found after I did some googling, and um, it's just a pretty awesome website where everything that you need to know for this exam has been summed up in one simple space. Okay, where you just look through and you're good to go. So I'll just put that link down below somewhere so you guys can also um, start looking if you want to start studying for the pharmacy technician to see if it's something you would like to find yourself doing before you actually make the step. Go ahead. Um, so yeah, until then I will talk.